if double underscore name double underscore equals double underscore main double underscore as a string, you will find this line of code in loads and loads of Python files. But what the hell does it do? By the end of this video, you will know. First, let's break it down. Let's look at these two statements I've got here, print type of underscore underscore name underscore underscore, which I'm now going to call name. If we run the script now, you'll see that name is a string and also name equals main. So name is a special variable in Python that, that tells you something about the file you're currently running. And just to expand this a little bit, if we create a new package, so I'm going to do file, new Python package, and we're going to create a package called test. So it's created my folder and my init there. And then we're going to create a new file within that called temp. And in the init file, we are going to do a couple of things. First, we are going to do from dot import temp. I'm going to add a function called add. So def add, and we're going to use star args as an argument. And then we're going to return sum of args. Add a space so pep8 doesn't whinge. And then here, I'm going to just copy in a print. So package imported name as a format string. And then in temp, we're just going to copy this in again. OK, so now that we got all this stuff created, I'm going to import test into my main script here. And the first thing to know about what happens when you import something is first thing it does, it doesn't just pull in the functions you want. It will actually run all of the code. That's how functions get built. The code gets run over. Well, not literally run over, but the interpreter runs over the code and creates those functions. Is that a space there so it stops whinging? So if we run this now, it's going to run through the first file, import the second file, and each of those should run in full. And you can see here we've got package imported test.test .test and package importing test. Now, the reason those are out of order from how you would expect, if you're going to init first to import temp, it only prints this at the end of the file. So it's already imported temp and completely read it and printed out its test.temp before it runs test itself. Now, if we go into the temp file directly and run it, you'll see that package imported is now main because main is the name given to anything that is the currently running program. Anything that's pulled in or imported will have its own name based on its package structure. So what's the use of that? Well, if we copy our if name equals main into this one and the init file, and then let us take this code out. And I'm just going to type in here print test dot add one, comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five. And if we run this now, you'll see that we're no longer getting any prints from these sub packages, even though the code is still there. But our add function is still there. What this actually does is it says if I am running it as the main script, then run this code. Otherwise, completely ignore it. So if I actually take this add function and move it below the if name equals main and then get rid of the original. So now it's under there. What do you think is going to happen when we run name again? If you thought it was going to crash, you're correct. Test to add no longer exists because that code has never been parsed. So what this code actually lets you do is write libraries with maybe test code or something at the bottom. Or maybe it's a fully fledged program, but you want to just reuse its functions. Adding if name equals main basically lets you filter out anything that shouldn't run if it's a library. And I've seen this so many times in Python scripts now that I'm almost of the belief that it's become a religious thing to just add this each time you create a file. I probably don't use it as often as I should, but I like to keep everything separate. Next, I want to talk about a really important skill that developers need to have, and that I have to write log entries to files. That will be in our next video, which is showing top left now. I do hope this video has helped demystify if name equals main. And with that, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you on the next one.